Hello, welcome to another episode of my Ark Survival Ascended series. Today we're going to be building the castle, or at least starting it, because it's going to be pretty big. It's going to be right at the end here. I think we can maybe get most of the exterior done today, and we'll have to move on to the interior in the next one. So first and foremost, we're going to need some tames, uh, because Donald isn't going to be enough, uh, but we do need a beaver because a beaver can collect us a lot of wood. And also I'm getting like, like a weird outline glitch on the grass. Can you see that? I'm not sure if that's new. I didn't notice it the last time. And where is my gun? I've lost it. Oh, here it is. Oh, 17 tranks. That's risky. I have to make some more. Oh, we already have a bunch of narcotics in here. Simple rifle ammo. I need to make some more. Put some spark powder there. Charcoal. Some charcoal there. Okay, also, this is the first video I'm recording with my new microphone. So it's probably going to need some more tweaking, but it should sound better. Lots of megalodons down there. We're going to need to have to tame one of those eventually. It's going to be dangerous. Okay, we've got some gunpowder here. Let's craft that up. And also, I want to talk about yeah, the point of this series. Uh, I do want to mainly building. I do like building. Uh, also, I do want to fight the bosses. I'm not sure how long it's going to take for me to get all prepared, uh, but I do want to do them eventually and then ascend off the arc. Okay, 38 more. That'll do. Alright, just head out. Okay, so we're going to need to look for beaver dam locations. Okay, whereabouts am I right now? I'm up here. Yeah, and you see I've marked all the uh, the caves on my map just for the future. So the nearest one is right down there. Okay, let's go have a look. Oh no, I do remember this location from Survival Evolved. So the beaver down should be anywhere around here. Hmm. Uh, yep, none here. Okay, could just follow this river upwards oh hold up what's that an alpha rex i mean i could give it a shot and just run away if things get bad i'm gonna just go for it see what happens oh almost got it And we got a... Okay, just find a place to rest. I think he is good. Oh, we got a trophy. We get a crossbow. Use that. Um, yeah, everything else is pretty poor, actually. Alright, still looking for a beaver. So I think this is the next location. Uh, yeah, this crossroad. Or cross river. Mm. Yeah, not seeing any here, either. Right, next one is... Yeah, it's just up the river. Oh, and I think there's an explorer note here. Yes, there is. Jake. No levels, though. Oh, I can't get any levels. I'm a uh, 105. That's maxed out. Oh, beaver. Okay, let's just grab it and see what the level is. Oh, level 90. That's actually pretty good. All right, let's go back to base. Now, how far's the render distance? I can't see the wall just yet. Ah, uh, there it is. I know how are we going to tame this guy. Uh, if I put it up here... Oh, that's not what I wanted. Put it there. Is it going to be able to walk over the top? Or is it stuck? Yeah, I don't think it can move. Alright, see if we can just open the door and then shoot it through there. Yeah, it can't seem to reach us. That's good. Change this to always out. There we go. Alright, he's down. Now I think they eat berries. And why are you in my wall? Uh, do you have any on you? You do. Wonderful. Uh, yep, it does. Okay. One castroid saddle. Oh, hang on. The, uh... The unconscious meter's running up pretty quickly. 
Oh, that ain't good. But, um, narcotics. Yeah, so it's running out faster than the taming is going up. We are most likely going to have to feed it narcotics. I'll just feed all of them. Oh dear, that's not going to be enough. Wait, I think I have some more narcotics in that, uh, mortar and pestle over here. Uh, yeah, 38, cool. There we go. Bastille. Is your saddle. Okay, let's pick him up. Down here seems pretty safe. 200. Three. Okay, that is very good. Ah, but the weight isn't great. But yeah, look. 25. And in my inventory, 50. So uh, it's half. That's a pretty nice platform. Maybe we could put like a, uh, a watchtower there or something. Castiel was a good tame. That is going to come in very handy. Uh, so yeah, here are our tames. Donald for stone, Castiel for wood, and Manny for thatch. That will give us everything we need to make all the stone structures for our castle. So what I'm going to do is grab all of this because it's going to be in the way if we don't. It is a good thing that Redwing's weight is so high. Just put everything in here. So I think for now, until we have our base set up, that I'm going to put all of our crafting and storage in our one of these turrets. Right, it's all cleared out. Now the first job is... Well, first I've got to get materials. And then I'm going to line the castle out with foundations. Really? Are you kidding me? What is this? It took me this far back? Well, that's just annoying. Okay, Annie's just woken up. What about Alt F4? How about that? Oh, of course that's gonna save. Okay, let's start from the back. So now I was going to do a segment where I showed you the outline and then told you we were going to put walls down and then pillars with a base, uh, but I just didn't hit record. Uh, so here's what we have. Finished off the outline and put some walls down. Not done yet, but after that we're going to put some pillars in the corners. Uh, then we can move on to the actual castle. so confusing. I don't know why I can't place anything here. Right, let's try this. Oh, yep. That works. And put those there. Perfect. Okay. That's looking pretty majestic already. Okay, so how am I going to do this? I think last time I did the turrets first and then the walls. I think maybe this time I just go layer by layer. So I'll do this wall all the way around, then I'll do that wall all the way around and keep going. I think that'd be the best way to do it.
Okay, it's coming along. Now before I continue, I wanted to have a look at something. I got a comment from someone on my last video, uh, Lester, I believe it was. It said the mammoth actually has two attacks. So there's the normal one. And if I press space, here yeah, it has a stomp attack, which supposedly is what collects the wood. Let's have a look here. Yep. And it quarters it. Okay, so like over 300 wood from a tree. And the weight quartered, along with all the weight mammoths have. This is way better than the beaver. Ah, oh dear. Okay, well, I know that now. Better late than never. Wow. Yeah, that's... Okay. That is very good. Oh yeah, and one more thing before we get back to building. Uh, down here, you can kind of see it. I've placed a... What are these called? A water tank. So we don't have to fly all the way to the bottom. And down here, there is a, a water intake. Where is it? Oh. There it is, right there. And they do reach each other, which is great. And then this one will irrigate the entire castle. Okay, now with those last stone structures down, the main part of the castle was all finished. Now I still got the windows to do, but I noticed that the left wall was kind of flat and boring. So instead of putting those supports down, I decided to run some stairs down and make a platform, which with some stables can house my flyers. which I thought turned out pretty neat. And also it reaches down to the water tank, so now I can just walk down to it. 
But uh, later on, if I do get a Quetzal, I am going to have to expand this because they are very big. Maybe I could add another platform down below. So whilst I was out collecting crystal for the windows, I came across a level 140 Anki. Now Ankis are very good collectors for all sorts of things, mainly metal, but they're also very good at crystal. So I brought her back to the base and tamed her up, and although her weight was kind of low, she did help with resource collection. And with those last windows down, the exterior of the castle was all complete, and I think it ended up looking very, very nice. Now there's still a bit of decoration to do, and of course the interior as well, but I think we can move on to that in the next episode. But until then, I want to thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next one.